hang up and try again. <laughs> I'm back. Yes, sir. It's your girl, Plank of Western. We get into a podcast. And I know you miss me. Shit, shit, been, shit been a little wild. But listen, I brought y'all a special guest. I don't even record on these days. But listen, I had to bring this young man in. Because he done, he done been popping his shit from the DJ meeting greets. He wanted the winners. Wonders. <laughs> he wanted the winners from the added up showcase with Miss Bianca Clark herself, Queen B. Tell these folks who the fuck you is. Man, y'all normally know me as Low J, but I changed my name to NGB Low. So, hey, so how y'all listen, doing? don't nobody know that this is your first time saying it, right? Yeah, this is my first time See, on Alabama Hip Hop Radio, man. I bring y'all, I don't get into a podcast, don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah, do it. I bring y'all a lot of good shit, new shit. Why you did a name change? Man, label issues. We ain't gonna go into it unless you wanna get into it. Hey. Get into it. It don't matter to me. We got time. <laughs> we look at me looking at the club we show, dude. So you said label issues. Label issues. Like what? Like, what do you mean those issues? <laughs> like they didn't want to drop my music and I trade and the trademark of my name is belong to them, so yeah. Oh bullshit. But yeah. see, that's and I'm glad shit, we getting right on into it for the podcast. But I'm glad you you open up like that because some people just think you get with a label and you think the whole shit just it's not sweet. Away. Yeah, that shit ain't sweet. Look, he already it's not sweet at all. <laughs> oh, we got some shit to talk about, man. We gonna get back. We gonna hold hold that thought. Cause we gonna we gonna tap into that real quick. But, all right. <laughs> but man, tell these folks what you do. All all that good shit. Man, I do music, man. Y'all know I just got out of jail. I've been locked up for a little minute, so. And you came back and kicked the door in, like yeah. give me that. I ain't gonna lie, you came back and took your spot back. Yeah, yeah, got to. I had to let these folks know what's going, going on. I was gone eight months. I did oh, eight yeah. months. And you gave them motherfuckers eight months to get that <laughs> shit together and they ain't got yeah. together now then. It's old with. It's old with. Low back in the building, man. I know what's going on. How I feel to be home? It feel great. How I feel to be home and to come out, do the DJ meeting, because you have one of the best reviews at the DJ meeting greets from the DJs and the producers. And then you came and you took a whole first place for a damn a showcase. I had to let them know. Like, I've been slept on for so long, even when I was at, before I got locked up, like, I was, like, slept on. So, you know, I did my yeah. little eight months just think, all right, when I come out, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. I already had your plan. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes you be needing, sometimes God put you in a position to sit down yeah, and get your absolutely. shit together. So you might need them little eight months to, to get your mind right. Because now you took them eight months, now you come back and see the label bullshit. Yeah. And you see what you need to put your feet at in your next step. Oh, shit. <laughs> put your feet at it and you, 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 you get your shit together. Absolutely. Slowly but surely, we coming. We for on sure. the way. I ain't even gonna lie. You, my first time seeing you was at the DJ Mina Greek. So yeah. you kind of blew me the fuck off. <laughs> I, I'm mad you ain't performed the first song. I'm gonna make this nigga run it back because I know that ain't all the energy he got. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I know you got energy. Yeah, you can tell you got energy. Oh yeah, I got plenty of energy. Just be bouncing. Yeah. Uh, hey, so <laughs> how do I want to ask this question? Cause I know you had to be kind of kind of nervous getting back into that scene. A little bit, like when we did when we had the MVP Monday, it was like. Well, that shout first, out to DJ October. Oh, yeah. Shout out to DJ October. Most deal. Dream but Dean. the first performance I did before I winded it back, it was like, all right. I had a little butterfly, but. What you uh, see how the crowd was fucking with you. Yeah, it turned me back up. Like, oh, yeah, I'm back. But I tell people all the time, it ain't it ain't nothing to be nervous about. Own your shit. Oh, yeah. True, true. You an artist. Make them feel your shit. You ain't oh, got yeah. shit to worry about. That's what I'm doing. You came by a little iffy, but you, I ain't even gonna lie. You took the whole crowd <laughs> by the end, but caught my motherfucking attention. And I'm a hard attention to catch. Oh, yeah. I talk shit. Hey. <laughs> they ain't seen nothing yet, though. It's uh -oh, more to that, come. That sound like you got some shit playing. I got a lot of shit playing. I ain't seen nothing. Can I, can I hear a little bit of it? Just know. I know a little bit of it. Just know we got a mixtape on the way. In a, oh, in a video, in a video, in a, a video. video. Oh yeah, he wanted a video shoot from getting to a podcast. Definitely. Get into a podcast with Mojave, one of the sponsors. Shout out to Queen B. 
She put your girl on a platform. Oh yeah. <laughs> but he was one of the ones. He he want you want a video shoot. You want an interview. Want a mic drop. Want a studio mic drop. Time. Want like Bianca. She she had some shit lined up for Shout that. Shout out to Bianca. I ain't even gonna lie. She had some good ass prize. That mean at part three y'all need to be at. Oh like, this. and cues. So how I felt going up against some because it was a lot of talented artists in that. Oh yeah, too. most definitely. Shout out to all the artists that performed. Like I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna win. It was really? it was that much talent. But I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I was one of the judges on the on the on the panel. Y'all made it fucking hard. <laughs> I can't lie, like it was it was tough. It was a tough battle. That was. Out of all the shit, out of all the DJ meet and greets, out of all the shit that I done beat to, all the competitions that I done, all the, all that shit, like, that was the, that had to be one of the hardest ones, because I, it came with a lot of different, it came with versatility. Yeah, absolutely. It came with a lot of it. You had motherfuckers with keyboards, motherfuckers flutes. coming, flutes. All, t- <laughs> all type of shit. The bitch had a flute. The bitch played a whole song, no words to the song, nigga. That was the most di- I ain't never seen nothing like it. But, but I mean, you stood. You you like shit. Fuck them instruments. You stood to the Oh, yeah. Got to. You brought your little people with you? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Then you should have been there. Don't know where the fuck you was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> that nigga said it was my night. But listen... I can't believe you thought you weren't gonna win though. I wasn't even expecting to win. I just you just like, wanted to get back out there. Yeah, I just want to put on. You feel me? Like, but when you don't, when you don't expect shit, that's when shit come to you. Absolutely. God said you. He prepared you for this. Now he finna give you all this N plus more. Absolutely. Like I don't just when I be doing my shows, I don't be looking to win, compete with anybody. I'm trying to get yeah. my music out there. Tell you your story. Yeah. Cause I know somebody going through something I'm going through, and I put all that in my music. You don't know who gonna feel it. Yeah. I heard it. I'm like, yep, that's that's a motherfucking banger right there. <laughs> and I'm glad you came out. Not, not like you did with the DJ meet and greet, cause you must have got them butterflies the fuck out the oh, way. Oh yeah, cause they you gone. Came back at that performance, mm-hmm. like, yeah, this shit is mine. Yeah, it will do. Take what's mine. Okay. So what 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 type of like what style you think you got with your music or you don't too much got a style? I'm everywhere with it. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. Just bouncing. I don't know what the fuck you want to do. Just bouncing. Here R and B. I did my R and B song. Y'all ain't even he- uh, here yet. My Vibes is coming soon. Damn it, nigga. They, they they got a sneak peek at that show. So. Which one? The second song I performed at Miami Vibes. At the showcase. Yes. Man, there's so many motherfuckers with so many songs. I don't know <laughs> shit. I ain't hit no R and B though. Yeah, hit him with the R and B. I hit him with Dope Gang the first song. Everybody love that Dope Gang. I can't lie. <laughs> Me, my mom I'm about to be out there pick up bill. <laughs> Meet me around back. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm legit, not damn. <laughs> but I feel it so. What's your upcoming style? Cause you said you 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 hopping all over the place, but you got to go with, you know, cause you said you got a lot of shit coming out. Yeah, I got a lot of shit coming out. Like, I know you've been in that since eight months. I know you've been writing. Oh yeah, nothing but music. Shout out to Noah, my engineer, and shout out to Complex, my producer. Yeah. So yeah, we coming. Like, I've been pushing since I've been out though. I've been working on more, a little bit of R and B. Cause I before I got locked up, I got a lot of trout. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to wanna switch step it up. Yeah. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. What made you want to just go into R and B though? Cause it be a you know when when a motherfucker a nigga just has straight trap music, you just don't never see him. Just yeah, you don't see that too. south side. You like, don't see that south side. You can't be a gangster twenty four seven. So not you saying you a yeah, lover boy. Yeah, I got a little heart. You feel me? <laughs> Don't you hoes break it. <laughs> Most oh. definitely. Please, though. Let me mind my business. But, yeah. Oh, I'm single now. Oh. Most definitely. Y'all heard it here first. Or well, if you didn't, if you didn't know, you know it's not as man <laughs> single. Tell them, tell them folks your Facebook so they can find you. NGB Low. 
That man, that man want a real woman. He'll need you hoes come ride his dick. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Okay. So, how long you been doing this? I've been doing this for three years. That ain't long, though. I wouldn't, I would have went. How you come? I would have thought you did longer than that. You been? Nah, three years. Crazy how, crazy how I started rapping, though. Not how you started rapping? Uh, not only my brother Youngin, he brought the studio to my house. He was like, bro, I'm going to make you rock. Like, you already got the image. Like, you yeah, already you doing do. this and that. You do. So, you might as well. Three years? Three years. Damn, I'm blow. Can't lie. Three years? Because, you know, you, because I don't see some fresh new artists. And even, you know what I'm saying, if they first two years, they still have performance issues. They still don't know how to. No, you know not to hold the mic. They that. still don't know how to catch a crowd or keep a crowd entertained. Like you can, like a lot of a lot of what I seen at the showcase, <clears throat> they had a five first song. Yeah. And when it was time for that second song, they yeah. lost the whole crowd. Yeah. And they couldn't catch it back. Yeah. Shout out to my lose, team, man. You ain't lose that. Well, your team, yeah, your team, big homie. Yeah. <laughs> he, Shout out, he, big homie, man. <laughs> big homie wasn't gonna let nobody leave. That whole dead bitch, you gonna be entertained the whole time. <laughs> Moon walking forward, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really blown by three years though. Yeah, three years. So just imagine you in year three, like doing what you're doing now, and just yeah. imagine once you get more experience down yeah. the line. Yeah, it ain't gonna stop. It ain't gonna stop. Your shit ready for main screen already came by. Damn, that just blew me the fuck away. <laughs> that just blew me away. So, okay. You, but you ain't even. I want to ask this question, but you ain't. But I can't. You, I can't say that. So what's what you feel like is part of your big, like one of your biggest failures since you've been doing this right now? My biggest failure is. Well, what you think is a a failure, and what you learn from it? Consistency. I like that. Okay. Why? Like promoting. Mhm. Mm so it's like I drop the song. I drop a song. I promote it. This is my time, put money behind, then just stop. You can't do that. Can't do that. You cannot do that. So. You cannot fucking listen. Listen to me talk, cause <laughs> I, I like I shoot the podcast, but it be so much going on with other shit. Cause I be tied into a lot of other shit, the model, the video girl shit. So all that. I that's one thing I want to be. It's more consistent with this, cause my shit is great. <laughs> To my own horn. Shout out to getting to a podcast. Do you hear me? But it's just it's that consistency. I have a problem. I have a big ass problem. Yeah, with that's what I'm working on now. Like that's my main problem. So we working on it. That's what you. I did it. I did it. So coming up, like in this in this rap shit, who was some of your biggest influences? My biggest influence. Cause you already said look young and yeah. got you into this shit. I don't let my brother, man. Um, who else? I want to say Boosie. Because we pretty much mm -hmm. can't. Yeah. So. I'm the same. I, I, yeah, I can see that, too. Boosie ain't go R. Oh, Boosie did go R. Me, too, though, then. He went blues. He went blues. Would you yeah. do a blues song? Yeah, I'm working on one. <laughs> Boy, y'all getting all the tea. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, I get that out of here. That, that will get into what it's for. Yeah, we get the I'm feet. actually working on one right now. That's crazy. I want. I, I, I can see you in your little, your little open up button down shirt with your cowboy yeah. boots. Yeah, with the cowboy head. It's coming soon, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's coming. Y'all hey, just listen, stay tuned. Invite me to the video. I got my days of doing oh, yeah. some cowgirl boots ready. Most definitely. <laughs> and I throw ass. Make it. That ain't blues, though, Dad. You can't throw ass to blues. We we doing something different. Know, we gonna change the game up. Oh, I'm here for it, then. Fuck it. We gonna throw ass to blues. <laughs> I'm telling y'all gonna hear a lot of shit for the first time coming from me. Because guess who I am? Plank and Western, and I get in fucking too. I don't know. <laughs> so, since you came back out, and I know you, you witnessed, like, all the good artists that was at the showcase... Um, like what it what it what it means to you to build a, a relationship with the either the local artists? Do you know what I'm saying? Cause I I, I wish a lot of y'all would team up. I think it's important. Like, 
Shout out to Honeycomb, man. Shout out my big brother, man. Oh, we on Alabama time, so. All the artists that's from Alabama, let's tap in, let's work, let's put our pride to the side. Cause I feel like we can, we can move Alabama. The state of Alabama got a lot from we Mobile, got, Birmingham, like it's a lot of talent. Yeah, I used to live in Alabama. I used to live in Tuscaloosa, so I met artists up there. So yeah, it's a lot of talent in Alabama. It's a lot of talent, so I don't feel like why. And then we ain't need that far from each other where everybody can't just pull up studio yeah. to studio and just tap in with each other and just work. I think we'll get farther if we work together than kind of separately. Yeah. But everybody be, I, I wouldn't say the well, females be in competition too now, but I was going to say, like, they be too much on trying to be in competition with somebody who going to win faster, who going to get there faster instead of just. And my thing is what we in competition for when there's money to be made. It's too much money to be made. It's a lot of money in the industry. Like, everybody can eat. Everybody can eat, so it's, I just feel like that shit just be selfish. Also yeah, man. most definitely. Because you might be good, but somebody might be better than your ass. Absolutely. Or you might got shit. I love, one thing with Instagram, I love doing promo for promo. Yeah. Like, you shot me out, I shot That's you out, right. you get my fans, I get your fans, we're going to even swap that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I like to do exchange for exchange. I do, you do a service for me, come sit right here on the spot. It, oh, even, yeah. Even promo. But a lot of people, a lot of people feel like you got to get paid for everything. Every, just kind of. We get paid from it, but money ain't everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Especially with like, huh. Everything don't have to be monetized to exactly. benefit from it. You get benefits from Shit, you I might be benefiting from you. Yep. Nigga, I might get a whole scream of crowd that's yeah. that's coming to tap in a whole uh, another diverse crowd. You said you wanna do blues, you might be pulling in blues people for me. Yeah, most definitely. You you gain a lot of shit other ways than just monetize. And Absolutely. I be people be money home like a motherfucker and I don't like that shit. Most definitely. I don't like that shit. Okay. So when it when it when it comes to music, what do you look for? Like if you listen to somebody else's shit. What you look for in the sound? I be looking at their lyrics. Cause like, people do jumble. Yeah, like I be, I be listening to their lyrics. I be wanting to hear what they talking about. A lot of never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, that's gonna start some shit. I'm gonna get counsel before I get started. <laughs> cause yeah, cause a lot of y'all do have mumble rap like a motherfucker, and a lot of shit that we heard on that stage. Didn't fucking make sense at all. I hate to be listening to some shit that don't fucking make sense. Yeah, I mean, like you just putting that shit there just to fill that little bar area in. I don't like that shit. At least with one thing about yours, you you, I notice in your in your music you storytell, but yeah. you also keep that bridge of entertainment too yeah. at the same time. So you adding storytelling to your entertainment. So it's uh, always thump. Yeah, you get a motherfucker that just. Lying and don't know what to say and just add <laughs> shit in. Just doing shit. Just trying shit. <laughs> we Not just, gonna just say trying that. shit. It do most definitely just be trying shit. I yeah. mean, fucking up in the, in, in the midst of it. You fucking up too motherfucking bad. Now, I want to get into this goddamn label shit. We Let's got, talk about we, it. We got the proper questions out the way. Fuck this shit. We gonna go off edge. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, what the label do to you, nigga? Not, not the label fuck you before you get started. Yeah. All right. So, before I got locked up, I was signed to a label. I ain't even gonna put their name out, though. <laughs> Don't give them no clout. Yeah, I ain't gonna give them no clout. But, it's like, I ain't gonna toot my own horn, but I'm really, I'm really like that with this music, so. Per toot your own horn. For... But they're gonna try to put me on the show, and I still try to stay with the label and shit, trying to work through it. Mm -hmm. Like they were just doing shit backwards when I was trying to help. Like, hey, we need to do this. We need to put money toward this. But they weren't trying to put money toward nothing. So it was like, what the fuck? But they, they, they want to keep the money they come. Yeah. So, shit. so then like, when I was trying to get out the label, they didn't wanna, they didn't wanna give me none of my songs. Really wasn't tripping about it. Got plenty of music. And what, what kind of deal was it though? It was like it was a it wasn't a it was a distribution. Okay. 
It oh, wasn't gotcha. a major label. It was distribution. But it was all type of bullshit with it. So now I'm out of it. So <laughs> y'all know what's going on. <laughs> that nigga said, now I'm out of it. But that, and then that that's another thing that I'm, doing, I'm glad you brought that shit up because an uh, artist just be ready to sign. Yeah, please, y'all. Uh, look at them contracts. Look at the motherfucking contracts. Nigga, get a lawyer. I mean, my contract was pretty straight. Like, it was, it was a good deal, but it was just... Bullshit management. Yeah. Bullshit, but you could have a fast deal, but if your management bullshit, is just bullshit. It, it just ain't going to work. Ain't gonna, it, it's not going to work. Yeah, they ain't live up to the contract, so... A lot of suit shit. <laughs> let, me, let me go back over this motherfucking cut track. Nigga, you supposed to be did this, 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 this. I ain't seen shit, but you want this, 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 and this from yeah. me. Yeah. That's crazy work. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I keep low jail for the change. Change my name to NGV Low, and it's trademark in my name, so. Now you know yeah. the right shit to do and how to handle that shit. Yeah, like, absolutely. It ain't just no. Just because this nigga say, oh, I'm going to give you a distribution deal or I might give you a 360 deal and, and let that shit be. Yeah. Nigga, you know not to sign a motherfucking thing. Because get what? Independently, your, your music hard. You yeah. don't even have to sign to shit. Yeah. Independently, you will stand on your own. But that's what let's learn. Yeah, most definitely let's learn. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, hit you back on the back of the head with that motherfucking sounder nigga got you get held real quick. But one thing about God, he going to teach you stuff in mysterious ways. So. Most definitely, because... And then you learned that shit early on. Yeah. You ain't nothing but nothing year three, so you learned that, that shit early on. You know not to do that shit no more, and you know to go the right way. Yeah. You know to put everything in your own fucking name. Yeah. That's Most like, definitely. like moving in the house with a bitch and your yeah, name ain't, ain't on the lease. lease. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? Oh, yeah. That hoe can put you out whatever the fuck she get ready. But now you know that now. Yeah. Now you know not to move in the house with no with a bitch. You know what I Fuck that shit. So what? What? Hmm. <coughs> Since we on the topic of that, what what did you expect of anything when you was walking into that shit? Not that I know, of course. Yeah, yeah, I was I was thinking like it was gonna help me at in the long run with videos and promo, getting my name out there more. But it is what it is. Now you got a whole new name. Say that new name again. NGB Low. NGB Low. Y'all niggas in these alphabets before these guys. Never going name. broke. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can take that. I like that Yeah, one. Yeah, we never going broke. We're going right, to keep now. going. Now you got to stop that never going broke, period. Yeah. Now you got to stop all that shit. It's okay. That was different. Sometimes shit got to be torn down for that shit to be rebuilt back up. Oh, the yeah. Right way. With yeah the exactly right how I'm structure. looking at it. And then you got a, a, a you got, I ain't even gonna lie, you got a dope ass team behind you. Oh, Big yeah. homie. I seen BTK J. Allen hopped on the stage with y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the other guy's name? Silk. Shout Silk. out to Silk. Yo, Silk. <laughs> like, y'all, it's a, there's a whole nice little squad behind you because all them hard too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, y'all got a little motion going on. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see. So, when we get a whole group song? Oh, it's coming. Real song, surely but short. With everybody on there, no. I will take a whole good five minutes, you know, four five minutes worth of good listening. <laughs> Put a bug in your ear, you understand oh, yeah. me? I'm ready to see it. Can't lie. So you gave that message. What's what's one one big 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 message that you'll give to the artist? And then I want you to give one to your fans. One big message to get to an artist. Don't stop. Got to keep going back into that consistency. Yeah, don't stop. Like, don't let even when when you when you feeling down, like, don't let that get to you. Like, just keep going. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have, you're going to pull up to a, a, a show and you might not have 10 people in that motherfucker. Get what? I'm still going to rock out. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> guess what? I do ten. You might have a big name person just sitting oh, yeah. in that motherfucker, just watching shit. Cause I like to hit up little. I I ain't gonna call them bullshit shows, cause they're not bullshit shows. But I like to hit up little shows that I know ain't yeah. getting as much as exposure as it should be. Yeah. Or whatever. To just to peep, cause I just like music and I like all types of music, so I just be peeping vibes for real, for real. 
Okay then. But if yo, if you got a fucked up personality, I won't give a fuck how good your music is. Oh yeah. Still won't get no with me. I don't know. Okay. I want to go uh X rated not dancing. Since you say you single. <laughs> oh, you're in it. <laughs> I like to play games Let's on get here. Let's get into it. It's a, this is real. That's the podcast name. Of course. <laughs> Damn, get... we be looking for the belt. <laughs> so that's our way today. But we we gonna do we gonna do X rated either or. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you like um? Let's see here. Either or. Which heads or tails? Head or ass? Which one you like better? I'm gonna go ahead. Damn, if the, you you will take a, a a a bad pussy hole, and she got good head. Pussy dry to the motherfucker. Well, I don't know. Nah, 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 nah. nah. When you put it like that, <laughs> <laughs> I just like it. Yeah. I said in my song. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga said I said in my song. I like head. Not you looking for a real head hunter. Yeah. Man eater. Y'all heard what the man like. Okay. You like titties? Are you a titty man or you a, a thickums? You like the big old booties? I'm going go with both. You can't? See, I can't go with both. That's how people be fucking up. I wish I had my goddamn bottle. That would have been a shot. That would have been a shot. Can't go both. You Can't got to go both. That's why it's called either or. I'm going to go with titties then. <laughs> got the girls for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Um, we did a threesome before. Yeah. <laughs> you, you did a threesome both ways. Two guys, one girl, or two girls, one guy. Two girls, one guy. Just that. You ain't, yeah. no, you ain't never rent no train on no, nobody. No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Nigga, you, you, you look like one of the niggas back in middle school <laughs> flipping them hoes behind the gym. Nah, not low. Mm -mm. Ain't my If y'all got secret footage of this man hit my inbox, I'm a host. <laughs> I'm going to I'm 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 tag his ass. Nigga, that look like you flipping that bitch right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's wrong with this nigga? Now can't he ask that question? Cause he need. Man, yo, though, I ain't doing that. He, he ain't fucking no, no bitch with two niggas. I mean, with a, a bitch with another nigga. Mm -mm. That's a threesome. How y'all gonna pick? It's a, a threesome. It's most definitely a threesome. I was gonna say, how y'all gonna pick a threesome? That ain't something I wanna do. Like, I love, I love women. Now like, you, don't, you don't wanna swore fight in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, ain't know, I ain't know that type of time. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I don't know. I never had a threesome, so I don't even. I can't. I can't say which is which is which. I never had one. Yeah, it ain't never. It ain't never crossed my mind to have one. <laughs> I don't like the show. Ooh, I'm a stingy bitch. And I don't like bitches like that. So no. She I said so no. <laughs> so fuck no for me. You know, nah, nigga. I need all big daddy to myself. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It ain't too much I can ask you. God damn, you ain't freaky enough for me. And you sober. Yeah, and I'm sober. And you sober <laughs> with it. All right, fuck it. Let's do, um, you you into music. Boys to Men or, who I said? Oh, New Edition, that's what I said. Boys to Men or New Edition. That's a hard one. I'm going to go with New Edition. Yeah, okay, we'll let it slide. <laughs> Since we got Diddy on the topic right now And he getting this shit ready <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys are death row <laughs> Most definitely death row Nah, you not, not you over there Hanging people on balconies and shit <laughs> I feel it <laughs> And this nigga ain't flipped no bitch behind a dumpster At school <laughs> But you wanna hang bitches <laughs> on the balcony Fuck is wrong with niggas, that's crazy Ooh, uh, Erica Badu or Lauren Hill Eric Badu. Oh. Oh. She said, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm digging. Let's do female rap. Uh, Cardi B or, or Nicki Minaj. Gotta go with Auntie Cardi. Oh, okay. I'm liking this little fella right here. Don't say no motherfucking Nicki Minaj on here. <laughs> she's a bully. I don't like her. I like her music, but she's a fucking bully. 
Yeah. Wait till you call it over here. Purple. Let's see him. <laughs> I don't know who else to say. I'm trying to think some names. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't know who to say. Oh, Eddie Kane or David Ruffin. Hmm. Eddie Kane or David Ruffin. I'm going to go with David. Depends. This is head depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> it depends. Okay, let's see him. Would you rather go 10 years to the future or 10 years in the past? 10 years in the future. Say, fuck the past. Yeah. Leave the past with That's it. it. <laughs> well, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm nosy too. I be wanting to see what's, what's T up, up front. Um, Read minds or move things with your mind. <laughs> Let me read. I'm trying to read some out of mine right here. I can't lie. You a Well, I ain't gonna lie. I'm nosy. And hey, fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to see hey, what's going on. Cause what you you looking at me like you got some shit to say that you don't want to get off your chest? Okay. So you'll rather lose your sight or lose your memories? Lose my sight or lose my memory. That's a good one too. I don't even remember writing that shit. Where the fuck that come from? Oh, that's a hard one. Lose your sight or lose your memories. <laughs> Why that's hard right there? I ain't going to lie. You can see. You ain't going to remember shit. I ain't going to remember a damn thing. I'm going to have to go with little memories. Got to see. You gotta see what's going on. Now nah, you don't you don't forgot the whole conversation that we just said here and did because you want to lose your memories. <laughs> Even if you blind, <laughs> nigga, you can have you can feel, but you can still remember what the fuck uh -uh. this thing feel I got like. to see what's going on. I ain't gonna remember it, but I got to see what's going on. <laughs> so what's the purpose of it? I, if I you're not know. gonna remember it. I'ma see I'm going <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Lose a hand or lose a foot. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Can't fuck. I would can't. It's a lot of niggas fucking bitches with one foot. I'm going to have to lose my foot. You need both hands, huh? You got to have no hands. Well, I already said you're a titty man. Mm -hmm. can't have, you can't hold both titties with one hand. So sure can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what we running into? What time is it? How much time I got left? I mean, I'm good. I'm good. Um, let's do one more conversation and do a closeout. Okay. Well, we can this, chop this, this up. I, I mean, yeah, at this point, just really ask them about how to follow, you know, how people oh, yeah, follow. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, close out, yeah. So, yeah. And we back with motherfucking Get a Tool with NBG. NGB, NGB Low. <laughs> we, listen to me. We're going to get this new name because he just hit us with a whole new name. He done fucked me up real quick with that because yeah. I ain't even know walking into this shit that this nigga was finna give me a whole new name. That nigga said he rebranding his whole little setup. Yeah. So what we what we, what, what, what we got for we can see? Hey. Because, you know. We got video coming soon. Purr. We got a mixtape coming soon. Purr, poo. And I ain't even going to. I might tell y'all who going to host the mixtape. I might. I don't know. I know I do a little hosting too. Oh, for real? <laughs> I, I bring the hoes out. You just don't Ooh, even know. Don't tell me that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bring the bitches out. And they be with it. Ooh. They throw ass all night. You said you got some blues songs. The nigga say he doing blues with a little twerking on it. Ain't mm -hmm. never seen no shit like that. Hey. I'm here for it, though. <laughs> but yeah, though. It's God coming. Y'all can look me up. On Instagram, underscore NGB Low. Facebook, NGB Low. YouTube, NGB Low. I'm on all platforms. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just being nosy real quick. Because <laughs> 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 I won't take that shit sad that when you wrote me. It's cool. Man, listen. I'm, you, I'm, I'm tapped in. Most definitely. You, you caught my attention at the DJ Meet and Greet. I, I'm watching. You know, you don't gain a fan from me, and yeah. I'm waiting. And let's work. Most we definitely. Get some shit did. A lot of shit did. I can't wait to shoot this video. Me either. 
<laughs> that nigga wore my video. <laughs> Very proud. I was, listen, I was praying to God. That a person with some bullshit music did not win <laughs> that fucking showcase to do this video. I was going to be highly pissed off, but I couldn't say nothing because they won. But I did not want to do no bullshit ass video. I take pride in my video girl oh, shit. Yeah. Man. And we got hard ass Roger Morris. Shout out to Roger. On the fucking visuals. Yeah, I, I stay wait. tuned. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I'm excited like a motherfucker. So there you have it. This man, I dropped a lot of a lot of first time y'all ain't never heard before was on my shit, cause yeah, cause just like that we get into it. <laughs> but yeah, this your girl Punk and Westry with N B N G B N. Low. Yeah, N -G -B what he low. said. I'ma get it down in two <laughs> motherfucking letters. But yeah, let go. <laughs>